I welcome you to my channel Laser Graphics and Multimedia and in today's video you are going to learn how to make creative Facebook cover in Photoshop step-by-step -step tutorial but before I dive into the tutorial if you're very new to this channel remember to subscribe so with having said so let's dive into the tutorial and see how you can make creative Facebook timeline or Facebook cover banner in Photoshop the first thing to do is to go to the home tab right here you go to file then make sure you click on new first you have to come to the top right here at this point here you need to type in the name of your design modern facebook cover okay then you have to come to the inch right here you have to change from inches to pixels so having changed the pixels then you have to come to the width so the width colon you have to type in 851 and then for the height you have to type in 315 then you have to make sure your resolution is 300 and then you come to the color mode right here make sure you choose then you have to come down below here and make sure you click on create then the next thing you need to do is to come to your tools bar right here at this time around you have to click and hold down from your shape tools make sure you choose your ellipse or you choose your circle then you have to come to the property at the top right here make sure shape is checked you can also change the color to whatever color of your choice so for now i'm using gray then you have to press shift key on your keyboard shift key and then alt key on your keyboard and then you drag this allow you to draw a perfect uh, circle like this then the next thing you need to do is to go to your move tool right here and uh, click on your move tool then having selected your move tool you have to come to the top right here you go to select then from select make sure you choose hall having choose hall then the next thing you need to do is to come to the alignment here make sure you align to align vertical center having aligned to vertical center you have to go back to select and make sure you click on the select then you're going to have it this way okay so next thing you need to do is to make a duplicate of this shape you have to fall back to the uh, layer panel right click on the layer panel and you have to look for duplicate layer then having choose your duplicate layer at a point here you can make this second ellipse and then uh, you click on ok then the duplicate one right here you have to uh, come back to the layer right here double click on the layer thumbnail this allow you to have a color with it you can change the color and then you hit on ok next thing you want to do right here is to resize the circle for you to do that you have to come to the home tab right here you go to edit then from edit you have to uh, come down below here and make sure you choose free transform having choose free transform you have to make sure you uh, press hot key on your keyboard and drag hot key and then shift key then you drag then you have to come to the top right here once you're satisfied with the style and then you click on the, this check mark to accept then you can close this window we don't need it okay then the next thing we want to do is to come back to layer panel right here we select the background layer have you select background layer we have to come back to the shape tools right here we have to click and hold down and uh, we choose rectangle having choose rectangle you have to come to the property at the top right here make sure shape is checked and you can also change the color to another color of your choice and then you have to come to the workspace and draw your rectangle this way then you can close the window here we don't need that then you can adjust your rectangle shape so once you satisfy with your rectangle shape, you have to come down to the layer panel here, make a new layer. Having make a new layer, next thing you want to do is to go back to your shape tools right here. Click and hold down. So this time around, we need to make sure we choose ellipse. So having choose ellipse, you have to come to the property from the home tab right here. Make sure shape is checked and uh, make sure you change your color this time around. And then you come to the workspace and uh, you press shift key and alt key on your keyboard this allow you to draw a perfect circle and then once you satisfy you just have to release your mouse and you have to close this hop next thing you want to do is to go to your move tool having go to your move tool then you have to come to the top right here you select click on select and make sure you click on all and then at this point here you have to align to vertical center once you align to vertical center, next thing you want to do is to go back to select and make sure you choose the select. So at this point here, we can just adjust this circle right here and make it uh, snap and overlay into the rectangle this way. 
next thing you want to do is to go back to your layer right here right click on the circle and this time around we need to make a duplicate of this and we can make this uh circle four and then we click on okay so this circle four right here we need to go back to our home tab right here we go to edit from edit we have to look for free transform so have you click on free transform then you have to press uh shift key and the hot key on your keyboard and this allow you to drag in a perfect way everything move all angle so once you satisfy you can just release the mouse then you are good to go and uh, come to the top right here click on this check mark to accept next thing you want to do is to change the color so you have to fall back to the layer panel double click on the layer thumbnail right here and then when you double click on the layer thumbnail you are going to have stuff like this we can paint this one with white and click on ok all right so the next thing we need to do is to locate this layer right here having located this layer we have to select this rectangle layer once you select this rectangle layer then you have to come down below here and uh, make a new layer so having make a new layer then we have to uh we have to go back to our shape tools right here and uh, we have to click and hold down this time around we have to choose rectangle shape then having choose your rectangle shape well, then we need to draw another rectangle this way then this new rectangle we can change the color we can format the rectangle right here we can change this color and one more thing we can do here we can corner the edge of this rectangle so for us to do that we just have to adjust from this angle right here so you can corner it in as much as how you want the corner to be okay so once you're satisfied with the corner and uh, i think this is much let me just make it uh let me make the radius 20. so once you satisfy you have to go to your move to and then you have to uh drag this particular shape and then you make sure it gets to the next uh lay next circle at the top right here okay then one, next thing you need to do right here we have to go to edit from the home tab right here and then uh, we look for free transform then the next thing we need to do is to just adjust the shape so we need this one here here to be uh, at the edge of this so i want it to be something like this and then we press enter now we need to look for these two circle and uh, this circle right here the circle four and three so we have to come to the layer panel right here we press ctrl key down and select the two layer then what we need to do right here is to drag these two layer all over the black rectangle so once you drag them to the top you are going to have something like this that is exactly what i want to achieve right here so we have to fall back to this particular layer having fall back to this layer then we need to go back to our home tab right here we click on select and click on all now what we need to do now is to make sure we align everything to vertical center we are talking about the black shape right here so you can see it has been aligned to center so next thing we need to do is to go back to uh, select right here and we make sure we choose the select so we have a very clean shape right here the next thing we need to do right here is to locate this particular shape uh, or layer then we have to come back to your our layer panel we create a new layer having make a new layer the next thing we need to do right here is to go back to our two spot right here and uh, at the point here we have to click and hold down and then uh, we make sure we choose circle or ellipse then we have to draw another circle we have to press shift key on our keyboard and uh, we draw a perfect circle then we can close this window so this circle one right here we have to drag it and uh, we make sure it snap to the edge of the corner this way all right so we need to make another duplicate of this circle we have to come back right here we right click on the layer and uh, we look for duplicates and we can make this just five like that and we hit on okay so the duplicate one right here we have to go back to our home tab right here we go to edit we have to look for free transform then you have to drag it out the duplicate one and you drag it out this way so what we want to achieve right here is that we need to make this uh new duplicate we need to make the circle 
a very smaller we have to press shift key on our keyboard and alt key and drag this allow us to reduce the circle size to the barest minima that we want to achieve okay so once you satisfy you have to come to the home tab right here then you need to click on this confirm or free transform or you press enter key on your keyboard so you get to have stuff like this then we can easily drag this one at, the, at, at this point here and then one more thing we can do here is that we can change the color of this particular one right here we come to the layer thumbnail double click on the layer thumbnail then we can pick any of the color from the point right here and hit on ok all right so the next thing we need to do right here is to come back to our layer right here we click our select on our background layer if we select on our background layer then we have to uh we can select on this particular shape right here and we can just make a duplicate of this shape and we have to right click on the layer we go to duplicate layer and uh, we hit on ok then the duplicate one we have to go to edit and then we look for free transform so this duplicate one right here we can just drag it then we need to take it into the background layer so we have to look for the background layer so we have to drag from the top right here then we have to drag it to background layer that is where i need this particular shape so you can see it has been in the background layer then we can just try as much as possible and drag it to the top a little bit then we can press ctrl t to open the transform tool then we can just press shift key Alt key on our keyboard and drag just to resize the circle a little bit and we can just take it here okay then one more thing we can do here we can come to opacity and we turn down the opacity a little bit okay All right, so the next thing we want to do right here is to apply appropriate color to these particular shapes so we can start from this point right here we come to the layer thumbnail we double click on the layer thumbnail then we have to play around with the color then the color code i'm going to use for this is uh this is the color code i'm using for this one right here so you can see the color it has been updated and you click on ok then we have to look for this layer right here and then we come to the layer thumbnail we double click on the layer thumbnail and then i will select the color from this point here and click on ok then we have to look for this layer thumbnail also then we double click on the layer thumbnail right here and i'll pick this color right here and hit on ok so we have to select this particular layer also we double click on the layer thumbnail and we have to look for the rightful color for this part also then i'll click on ok boom so the next thing to do is to add picture to our banner so we have to select this particular shape right here and uh, i'll go to home tab right here i will go to file from file i'll go to place embedded Then once you place the picture you have to come to the layer thumbnail right here and right click on the layer panel and then you have to make sure you click on create clipping mask then you are going to have it this way okay so the next thing you want to do right here is to come to the blend mode right here and make sure you choose luminosity so you are going to have something like this then the next thing we want to do right here is to locate this particular shape right here and then we come to the layer thumbnail we double click on the layer thumbnail right here and we have to change the color and then click on ok then we have to right click on the layer we go to blending options then you double click on the shadow so i'm going to double click on the shadow and uh, make sure the blend mode right here is normal uh, make sure the angle is 180 and uh, the distance should be hit spread six size should be hit and you come to the top here and click on ok so you are going to have stuff like this okay and the next thing you want to do right here is to add text into our banner okay
fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that stack, taking big swings, put your hand in the back, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad life, ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail, I took the red pill, I know life's short, so I wanna live real, but how's it supposed to feel? And I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah, I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on this shit daily Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these shit I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather leave than be led I'll fill the seats as I spread With every word that I've said